Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal and today I am going to review another foundation. My skin is very oily so I need to test out foundations that will work for my skin. So the most difficult thing to find for someone like me with oily skin is a foundation that will last on my skin throughout the day without uh, making my skin look super greasy or anything like that. So I always look for foundations that I think might be really good for my skin and won't budge throughout the day. So we are going to see if this product that I'm going to be talking about today will work for my skin. So the product that I'm going to review today is the Natasha Denona Transformat Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation. And the word matte uh, really got my attention because like I said, I have oily skin. So I hope this will work for me. So this is how the packaging looks like. It's very, very simple and plain. Um, there you go. So um, you can't really see with, I don't know if you can see the details um, on my camera. I just really like that it's not super crazy or anything like that because I'm really crazy for packaging normally, but um, sometimes I'm looking for um, simple packaging as well. I don't know. I'm weird like that. But yeah, it's very simple. It looks like this, just white. Um, you can just basically see three colors in this packaging, which is flesh, black, and white. So, so as you can see, it says here, Natasha Denona Transformat. Uh, where is that? Okay, Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation. It has 28 ml. And then um, you can see the ingredients at the back. Made in Italy. No parabens, not tested on animals. They have a website which is www.natashadenona.com. By the way, I ordered this from Sephora Philippines and um, it took almost a month before I got this because um, there was a problem with the uh, permit or something like that. So when I order from Sephora Philippines, normally I receive the products a lot earlier than this last one but um, yeah this came super late but anyways with this order I get to choose three freebies so I got this Urban Decay Vice lipstick so this is like one of the freebies that I got um, it came with um, four shades so there's Back Talk, um, Hitchhike, Menace and Pandemonium. So I got four shades here. I've been wanting to try these lipsticks for a while now and finally um, I get to choose um, one of the shades here. I really actually wanted to try the shade called Back Talk um, but I got a different shade instead. I got this one instead which is called Big Bands. This is a deluxe size Urban Decay lipstick. This is actually very glittery and shimmery, so yeah. I'm not really a big fan of this lipstick, to be honest. Um, it's kind of sheer. I'll choose something that looks like this um, without shimmers. Sorry for the change of lighting, but I just had to change some settings in my camera because I just can't focus on the products that I'm holding, so I think it's okay now. Um, <coughs> sorry. Okay, so for the freebies, I got two um, samples from Huda Beauty, their perfumes, and I got two of them here. Um, I have the K Alley Musk 12 and Vanilla 28. So this is the Vanilla 28 and this is the Musk 12. This is the K Alley Musk 12. Um, this is actually my favorite. It smells so good. Um, oh my gosh, this smells so good. The perfume itself is like light pink and I really really love the smell. Ooh. The other one that I got is the Vanilla 28. I like the other one more, the um, Musk 12. This one is Vanilla 28. Um, it's Vanilla Orchid, Tonka Absolute, Brown Sugar, Amber Wood, and Musk. Yeah, this smells like Amber Woods uh, more than anything else. Um, I don't really smell the vanilla too much, but I had the amber body wash from Bath & Body Works before and it smells um, almost exactly the same as that. Yeah, it still smells good, but I just prefer the other one. Okay, so that is everything that I got inside this box and now we are going to talk about the foundation. For this foundation, there are 35 shades. I got this sample card from my order last time when I ordered the Kat Bondi Shade and Light Cream Contour Palette. Um, this is one of the 
freebies that I got and as you can see um, there are four shades that you can try from the sample card and at the back you will see all the shades available so they have from fair light to medium and dark to deep so it's so nice that they have um, so many different shades of foundation for every skin color so again there are 35 shades it says here that this foundation is a weightless medium to full coverage long wearing formula that is rich in anti-aging nutrients to protect, rejuvenate, and improve the look and feel of your skin. So it says here it's suitable for all skin textures. So we're going to see if this is going to work for my skin and yeah. Let's just go ahead and test this out. So this is the foundation, very simple. Um, I thought this is going to be a squeezy two bottle, but it's not. It actually has a pump, which is great. Um, that it's just more convenient to use. So um, I love the packaging because it's very matte. So the only thing that's glossy and you can see and you can feel that it's glossy is the word transform matte that is printed on the packaging, but everything else is velvety matte, which is great. So uh, I'm just going to apply this on the back of my hand first and see oh that actually feels liquidy might have to shake it more but I think I got the right shade so it feels very light doesn't have a scent or anything um, is this supposed to be fragrance free because I can't smell anything mm, yeah I think it's fragrance free I can't smell anything Ooh, I love that it doesn't have a scent because sometimes when foundations have scents, it just makes me feel dizzy. Just like the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I love that foundation, but um, it smells like paint, so yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to blend this with a sponge and I'm not even going to bother using a brush because I always use a sponge to blend my foundation. So um, it looks kind of light for my skin tone right now. So it seems to be blending super easily and um, the color is a bit light for my skin color but um, I can make this work. Um, you know foundations tend to oxidize on my skin anyway after a few hours so I know this will go a shade darker than what it is right now. And I love the fact that it's liquidy so it means it's going to be more lightweight than a foundation that is super thick and not runny so sometimes when the foundation is thick it's going to look thick on your skin as well but right now i look like a ghost and actually in real life it's fine but on camera it looks extra light so i'm gonna apply more on my forehead by the way i forgot to tell you guys the price i got this for 1050 for all of this including all the freebies of course and um it was free shipping because i think if you order something over 1000 pesos um it's going to be free shipping for sephora philippines which is nice um so yeah, I paid 1050 for all of this. Okay, so this is the foundation on and honestly, um, it looks really, really nice. It just looks like my skin and when you touch it, it feels like I don't have any foundation on which is nice. So I guess um, right off the bat, I can tell you guys already that this is going to be nice for oily skin. So this is one of the shades that um, looks kind of light when you apply it first but um, when you apply everything else, your blush, your eyeshadow, um, it's just going to blend well with your skin and um, I just love the finish. I think I'm very happy with one layer. If you want to um, build the coverage even more, you can but um, I just enjoy a light coverage. I think this is supposed to be something that should look natural on your skin. Um, it says here transform matte, so this is definitely um, a matte foundation. I just really, really love the finish of this. It looks really, really good and it feels so comfortable. It feels like, like when you touch your skin, it really doesn't feel like I have foundation on, which is great. I hate it when I try new foundations and it just looks and feels like very sticky on my skin. This one just feels like skin. So this is how my skin looks like um after blending it it didn't take me so much time to blend this it was very easy to blend i thought the color is going to be too light for me but after blending it it just looks so beautiful on my skin um yeah it just made my skin look really brighter without 
uh, making it look too crazy since it's a light color for me. Um, but I don't regret buying this shade. I still think it's a good match, especially for my skin type because like I told you guys, um, foundations have the tendency to oxidize on my skin. So if ever this will turn darker, at, at least I got a shade that is lighter than my skin color. It didn't emphasize my pores. I have big pores on my cheeks and on my nose especially but you can't really see it right now. It's true that it is pore vanishing and it's true that it's true that it's a matte foundation. I like this foundation because it's matte like to the touch but um, it still has that healthy glow on your skin it's not like flat matte so for my concealer i think i'm just going to use the catrice cosmetics liquid camouflage high coverage concealer and then for the rest of my face i'm just going to do like a neutral look I'm going to apply a little bit more of the foundation on this side because I have veins showing through and on this side. Um, let's see if it's going to cover. I think this foundation has medium coverage only. So if you add another layer of this foundation, uh, it might disturb the first layer underneath if you add another layer it can look a bit cakey but it's easy to fix with a beauty sponge like this one i am going to set this foundation with the rcma no color powder this is what i use whenever i review any foundation you guys know that i don't really apply a very thick amount of powder i just apply a thin layer if you want to achieve like a medium to full coverage with this foundation um, do it in one go because if you're going to add another layer, it's just going to look cakey. This foundation sets, so um, if you add another layer after it dries, after it sets, it's just going to mess up the first layer. Um, this is one of those foundations that look really, really natural. Um, it's actually really undetectable right now. Even when I have the powder on and the blush and bronzer, it just looks really natural. So that is exactly what I'm looking for in a foundation. So I really love this foundation. Oh my gosh. And I don't feel it on my skin at all. I'm really impressed. I love the texture. It's liquidy. So a little bit of this product goes a long way. Sometimes when you're using a product that is thick and not runny, you have the tendency to use a lot because you won't be able to blend it far. But this time, my skin just looks like skin I, I look like I don't have any foundation on and um, I'm happy that it didn't oxidize too dark um, the color is just perfect for me and I love it I also don't want to look like um, I have a mask on my face so uh, medium coverage is good for me so yeah I would rate this foundation 10 out of 10 I think it's amazing unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to do a full day wear test wearing this foundation because it's already late here I think it's like let me check. It's currently 12.45. I'm definitely going to do an update for this foundation. Um, I'm going to wear this for a whole day and I'm going to give you guys updates. After testing hundreds of foundations, uh, I think I know already that this is going to last long on my skin. If you have oily skin and you're looking for an everyday foundation, this is perfect for an everyday makeup look because it looks really natural. So um, yeah, I love this foundation. So if you have oily skin and you want something that offers just medium coverage and um, will not emphasize your pores, then go ahead and get the Natasha Denona Transformat Foundation. And just wait for my update because I'm definitely going to give you guys updates about this foundation. Um, but yeah, I'll be posting that very soon. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!